Hello, welcome to the next section, Give Me a Number, Regression. In this section, we will first compute the root mean squared error. Then we will be building KNN models for regression. Moving further, we will be performing linear regression and variable selection in linear regression. Next, we will be building regression trees and random forest models for regression. Then we will be using neural networks for regression. Finally, performing k-fold cross-validation and leave one out cross-validation. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with computing the root mean squared error. In this video, it shows you how to calculate the RMS error given the predicted and actual numerical values of the outcome variable. Here we will be using rmsc.csv file, so make sure that it is present in your R working directory. We will first read the data file and then look at the data present inside it using head function. You can see the data here. The file has data about a set of actual prices and the predicted values from some regression method. We will compute the root mean squared RMS error of these predictions. Let us first compute the RMS error. This code computes the RMS error as defined, the square root of the mean squared errors. The dat dollar price dat dollar pred expression computes the vector of errors, and the code surrounding it computes the average of the squared errors, and then finds the square root. Let's run this. We will now find the root mean square error. When we run the code, we get the root mean square error as 2.934995. Let's now plot the results and show the 45 degree line. This is the code to do it. When we run the code, we get a scatter plot like this. Since we compute RMS errors quite often, let's look at some important points. First is using convenience function to compute the RMS error. This is the code to do it. When we run this, you can see that the function is created here. The function may be handy when we need to compute the RMS error. Armed with the function, we can compute the RMS error using this line of code. When we run the code, we get the same result, that is 2.934995. See, it is very simple now. In this video, we have computed the root mean square error. 